Hello there. My name is Laura Ellen McKinney and I am a storyteller. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Limbo Land. Happy Valentine's Day. I got all dressed up for you. This is one of my very favorite things, and I don't know if you can see the intricacy of the chiffon rose here, but I am wearing flowers. In case none arrive at my door, one must give oneself flowers. I thought what we would do today is Valentine's Day poetry. And so I am going to read two poems that I've written, but one that is arguably the best known love poem. And it is, She Walks in Beauty, which is a famous poem by a British romantic poet, Lord Byron. It was first published in 1815. So the poem praises the beauty of a particular woman but there's outer physical beauty and there is inward beauty. And in the course of this poem, though the first thing that's recognized is this outer beauty, it becomes a metaphor for the beautiful person that she is inside. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies and all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress or lightly softened o'er her face where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on that cheek and o'er that brow so soft, so calm, so eloquent, the smiles that win, the tint that glows, but tell of days and goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Well, Lord Byron, you did all right. Who was she? Inquiring minds want to know. Now, the next poem is actually a song that I wrote and I have just not managed to figure out the melody for it. So it's, it's a song that doesn't have any music yet and it has a bit of a funny story. I have a social media manager and my social media manager lives in Dubai and I had just met her and she's remarkable and had just started working with her and she takes off with her wife on vacation, which she can do, but what about me? What about, what about me? We just got started, what about me? <laughs> and she came back and then she went somewhere again. And you know how sometimes you meet somebody and you just kind of click? We became almost instant friends. And so this sounds like a song from a broken hearted lover. It's not that at all. It's very tongue in cheek. It's kind of a joke, but if I can ever figure out <laughs> what to do with it on an, an acoustic guitar, it'll be a great song. It's called Missing. It's another Friday evening, chilled out Netflix, take out low main, Everything is perfect, but I'm missing you. Travel home from Abu Dhabi, Pittsburgh, Paris, Temple Taipei. My heartbeat is packed in memories like, ooh, everything is perfect. I'm just missing you. Now our perfect could be better journeying through life together. I'm not Pollyanna baby who aren't you. Perfection's not perfect. Oh, I'm missing you. Arms held open in the front yard, Foyer, down the hallway, it's not too hard to map out the love I have for 
Oh, now you're home from Abu Dhabi, Pittsburgh, Paris, Temple, Taipei. My heart beats with brand new memories. Ooh, everything is perfect. No more missing you. Till you once again take flight, morning, afternoon, or night, it will all be perfect. No more missing you. Oh, now it's the next time. Tears escape my big brown eyes. Our brief time is so, so sweet. Say goodbye, rise to our feet. Hug you right on through me. You feel so good. Oh, I'll hug you right on through me so I won't miss you. It's another Friday evening, chilled out, Netflix, take out low main. Cycle starts again, you're traveling to, ooh, it tugs my heart refrain, automobile, airplane, train. Perfection isn't perfect. No more missing you. Working toward perfection. I am missing you. Life is perfect, baby. I'm just missing you. Everything is perfect, perfect. Perfect, 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 per perfect. Missing, missing, missing you. It better be perfect so I won't miss you. No, everything is perfect, baby. I'm just missing you. Everything is perfect. I'm just missing you. I have no idea how it's going to go. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. It's hard to sing when you have COVID. Everything is perfect. I'm just missing you. I'll figure it out. Okay. So that's silly, obsessive single black female stuff. No, not really. Just funny, jokey. Okay. Now, the next is actually a poem. It's not a song, but it as well has a rather interesting story. And its story is that I used to spend a lot of time being arm candy for various diplomats. Now, the reason for that is that I have a closet full of evening clothes and I've traveled all over the world. I can quickly learn to speak in another language so that I can at least sound like a five-year-old. I know about what's happening in the world so I'm not going to be an embarrassment or say something at dinner that's going to start a war with somebody. So they knew that they could tell me next to who might be seated and give me some guidelines and, and they'd have pretty lady on their arm who was impressive, you know, it was a party trip. Not a trip, not that kind of trip. I was a, you know, like a, you understand. Okay. So, I was at one event with a friend who was like a brother to me, he was a Canadian diplomat, and he took me to the party of the ambassador to China who had just moved back from Beijing to Washington DC and was having a big Chinese New Year's party. And diplomatic homes tend to be quite fabulous. This this was this phenomenal place, I don't know, 10,000 square foot house kind of thing. And uh, there were a couple of hundred people there. And one of the things that's required to be a diplomat is in addition to knowing the issues of the country and specializing in whatever your skill is, you're the trade negotiator, you're the whatever. But the other thing is that you really do need to be charming. And the charm has to appeal to people of all genders. So it's not flirting that you do, but there's a, oh, how's your child? How's, how's little Joey? You know, did his arm heal from the break? Sarah plays the violin so beautifully. Thank you so much for inviting me to the whatever you know, and then wink, wink over here. And it was like, you know, she was a terrible violin player. Just being able to work with people so that you could get to the meat of the issue on behalf of your country. Well, I was in this kind of tight area against a glass wall. It was sort of an enclosed 
porch and the swimming pool was over here and there was a gazebo and there's all kinds of things outside, but it was winter, right? So I'm stuck in this line of chairs against the window wall. I don't take up much room on a chair, which is not an invitation to come sit on my chair, but someone did and was very charming. I ended up being his arm candy to lots of things. There's not, there's not a romantic story here because we never dated, but it was an interesting sort of, Uh, loving, tender, fantastical, peculiar story. You'll see. It's called Being Fed in Public. A very sweet hello, a very loving look, a very tender touch just above my elbow from you, a stranger. Don't know you, never saw you, can't remember if I'd met you, somehow feel your soul familiar, you, the stranger. It is the night of the celebration for the Chinese year of the rat attack, tat, rat attack. In this year of the rat, passion lurks behind the hat of you, the stranger. What made you see my secret smile? What made you know my fathomed fear? What made you sit so creature close? What made you still my heating hand? What made you hold my jaded jaw to place a prawn between my teeth. What made you feed the hidden heart of this tall stranger? It is the night of the celebration for the Chinese year of the rat-a-tat-tat, rat tat flaring fireworks in the night, singeing sky, singeing sky, furtive glances in the night, singeing sky, singeing sky, tat-tat, rat-a-tat, tat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat. In this year of the rat, skies burn, souls yearn between us strangers. Your very silly, sexy smile, my gasp, my sigh, my I don't know. I'll see you later. I don't know. You will believe me. Maybe so. I'll see you later. Six o'clock. Singeing sky, singeing sky. Tat, tat, rat a tat, rat a tat, 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 tat. A teeter on the abbas slide, this dance of strangers. A very sweet hello, a very loving look, a very tender touch just above your elbow. No longer strangers. So there we have it. We have a woman who walks in beauty like the night and a man who sees that her inner spirit is as beautiful as her outer aspect. She is not the picture of Dorian Gray who looks beautiful here, but his picture is his soul and his soul is rotten and it shows. So no. She walks in beauty like the night. And then there is funny connections that you can have with brand new people in the two cases of these poems that I wrote. Everything is perfect, I'm dismissing you. Get back so we can get to work. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm dismissing you. And then there's the Chinese year of the rat and a stranger sitting in my chair and getting into my face and we're still friends. I talked to him and his wife the other day and his mother. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's interesting the kinds of love we can have. There's agape love for mankind. There's falling in love with a person's spirit, which is what these two poems are about. My, my two poems are about. And then there's ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, love. I don't have a poem about that one, but I'm hoping that wherever you are on this Valentine's Day, you are writing your own poetry. Have a good day. Hearts and flowers for you. Well, you can't have a dream and cut it to fit But when I saw you, I knew we'd go together 
like a wink and a smile. Thank you for joining me in Limbo Land and for being my special Patreon partners. Your subscriptions help me create the art that makes my soul sing and I hope makes your world a bit better too. Until the next time we're together, be certain to live your best story. And I will see you here soon in Limbo Land.